Greetings all and welcome back to the Tech Update. Today we're going to take a look at two rumored handouts that may or may not hit the market. So the info I've got here is pulled together from Reddit uh, pages and Discord servers. So it's not necessarily legitimate. There's been no official announcement by these companies in regards to these units, but there's a lot of rumors flying around in the handout community. So take, let's take a quick look at what we know so far. The RG406M, there's a thread about it on Reddit. They found uh, this picture that could be real or not. It looks like it's just an RG405M that's been edited. So for those of you who don't know, the RG405M is a long-standing favored handout from Anbenik that is quite a portable compact form factor with an aluminum shell. Uh, it's very pocketable and it has a Unisoc T618 chipset that plays up to PS2 or GameCube games. Not all of them, but quite a few of them. Um, so yeah, it could be legitimate. It would be awesome if Anbenik actually produced a unit like this. Um, most of the community members seem to think that it would have an RG T820 chipset, which is found in RG556, and can play most PS2 and GameCube games. A lot of the uh, commenters also said that they would love an OLED screen on this, so that would be quite awesome. So, in my opinion, if Anbenek had to bring out something like this, it would be awesome. I think a more pocketable 556 would be great, especially if you could add an OLED screen like the 556 has. Um, and if it's in a more pocketable form factor, the only problem I see that may occur is if you have a more powerful chipset in there, this is an aluminium shell, you may have a problem with heating and they may have to introduce active cooling. Uh, but yeah, that's what we know about the RG406M so far. I'll leave a link in the description for the Reddit thread. Next one up is the R40S, which looks like a clone of the Palki RGB20S. And this was found by Aeolus UX. And I'll leave a link to the video on his channel for you to go and check out. I looked around and all I could find was this listing on Amazon, which seems to be the same unit, uh, but it's currently not available. So this may be somebody who, who loaded it and then made it unavailable. Or it could be country related, not 100% sure. But if the specs here are to be believed, this will also have the same chipset as the RGB20S, an RK3326 1.5 gigahertz CPU. This one would come with 8 gigs of RAM, whereas the RGB20X from PowerKitty has 1 gig of RAM. Um, so that would be awesome if it has a little bit more RAM. It should help performance a bit. Um, same screen, more or less, 3.5 inch screen. Battery on this one's a bit bigger. The RGB20S has got a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. This one's got a 3,800 milliamp hour battery. So depending on price, if this can come in a little bit cheaper than the PowerKitty RGB20S, it may be a hit. Could work. I think it could work. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about these rumors. What type, what type of handheld would you love? Would you like any one of these two? What would be your perfect handheld? I love discussing this kind of stuff with you guys. So let me know in the comments what you think. Remember to like and subscribe if you found any value from this content as it really helps the channel out. And yeah, that's it for today. Keeping this one sweet and short on purpose. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day and I'll catch you in the next tech update. Whoa, 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 whoa.